welcome to Nirmal Bank, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hiral Dadia. We have with us Kunal Shah, Head of Commodities Research, joining in. Kunal, welcome to the show. Kunal, my first question coming to you is, overall, if you see in terms of where uh, the dollar index goes as well, uh, do you think a deeper pullback is something which is likely from here on? Uh, well, yesterday, Jeremy Powell's speech was uh, very hawkish and uh, uh, it, it seems that uh, she's clearly trying to say that if uh, in inflation keeps moving up, they will be aggressively printing going forward. So uh, they will ag aggressively tapering. They will be. So now this is actually very bullish for gold and silver because the growth for sure globally is going to go for a toss. So that is uh, very bullish news for gold and silver. So I recommend to go long in gold around 50,000, 150,000, silver around 61,000. Both looks quite promising to me. Gold and silver are poised to make uh, 50,500 to 600 uh, in next one or two days. Silver will test 62,200, 100 in next one or two days. So both looks quite promising to me. Uh, and uh, I recommend uh, uh, for the timing, I think dollar uh, is going to take a support and uh, maximum upside 2030 uh, pips we can see in dollar index. I am not expecting dollar index to uh, breach previous highs <clears throat> and it should remain contained within 104. Right. So overall, the strategy should be to buy and go long on gold and silver. And uh, simultaneously, how do you view uh, base metals? Base metals, uh, there is an opening up of Chinese economy. In next one or two days, China is going to open up their economy. And that is basically going to create uh, some more demand for metals. And that is why metals are moving up from last one or two days. I don't expect major spike. Copper can go till, uh, you know, maximum upside is uh, 770, 772. Uh, zinc another three four rupees aluminum another two three rupees and from there it will stop so we can see some bounce back and then it will go down so base metals evening session can move up by three four rupees uh, for copper aluminum can move up by two two three rupees so for evening session you can do some bargain buying right and uh, coming to crude and natural gas what's your view a crude uh, 19th May expiry June contract around 8700 I will sell because I think uh, it's, this rally is getting extended too much and I think there is a demand destruction which is going to take place looking at whatever is happening across the globe. So uh, June contract 8700, 8720 go short and uh, target should be uh, 8550 to 8500 uh, for the June contract. So. Uh, sell on rise for the June contract is the strategy what I'm providing to the viewers. Natural gas, uh, still time to expiry. No bearish figures right now, but uh, can correct a bit from here. 640 sell, 645, keep a strict stop loss. 628 is my target. Right. So uh, uh, you can expect uh, to go short in terms of natural gas, right? Hmm. Yes. Right. So that's the view coming in in terms of uh, majority of the commodities. In terms of questions as well, uh, Kunal, if you can repeat your view on gold. Okay, gold me 50, 50, 100 ke beech pe buy kijiye. 50, 500, 50, 50, 500 ke aspas profit book kijiye. Silver me 61,000 ke aspas buy kijiye. Around 61, 800, 62,000 tak fir se silver dikha sakta hai. Uh, copper is a little bit up because China ka economy open up. Hai. So, positional view is not a big deal. But you can see the upside of 4-5 rupees. Uh, aluminum can increase to 2-3 rupees. So, according to the intraday, you should buy a little bit. But according to the positional of the levels, you should work on the upper levels. And where you talk about crude and natural gas, then crude, mein, कल जो हमने डेवलपमेंट आते हुए देखा है वो देखते हुए हमको लग रहा है कि जून कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऊपर में बेचना चाहिए कहां पे 8700 8710 के आसपास बेची है नीचे में 8550 के टारगेट्स के लिए वेट कर सकते हैं आप 8 10 दिन में और स्टॉप लॉस आपको ये पोजीशन में लगाना चाहिए 8850 का 
Right. So that's the view coming in from Kunal Shah. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, participants, for joining in as well. Thank you, Kunal. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for in-depth interviews of India Inc. and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates.